After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. So, church, it's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Stop there, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Find a new fare.
Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day's gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. from the gallery. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I won't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Since five, what's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. 
Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah, he's gonna wanna hear about this. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you should have asked him, Carlo. I'm not gonna give a good answer. Kia, Lou. Il tassista, ricordi? Ah, si, si. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sen. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. But we're grateful for his dough. We gotta go. Long drive back. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. 
We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot. He's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cat. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends in the force than us. We're okay. Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. We're okay. As long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. If you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. The us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it.
Get on to Morello's turf, man. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? See if you get shot. Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go Boston quiet, right? Yeah, Johnson. like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their trunk busy while you creep up from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's the best thing. Can I get the money, Ah, he's good for it. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to get Morello a black guy. And Dino makes him cart the cars? <gasps> hey! Ah, Christ, <clears throat> Tom! You got seen! <clears throat> You're not so tough! <clears throat> I hate doing it quiet, too. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Great. No one's driving out again. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Knock him down, Tom! Put, you got some kind of death wish? Uh, uh, oh, uh, son of a... Uh, like that. Hey. Come on, Tom, quick. Uh, be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Motors don't torture... the smell of burning paintwork. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you can... Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. What the hell? What? Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bull show! He's not getting back up. I'm reloading! Don't let him get away! Come back, you bastards! They're shooting! Drive! Drive! 
Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Jesus Christ, Tom, I said not to get them real pissed. We not been shot at enough today already? Ugh. Till they lose interest. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days, it's slow days. It's had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. Well, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. 
I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. <laughs> 